Hello guys, it's Johnny Tam and welcome to another decentralized finance tutorial. Today we are going to learn what does minting in crypto, minting tokens in DeFi and crypto and blockchain, what it means to the token and how it actually works. In general about minting money, minting tokens in DeFi, what everything that related to minting, what it what it is, what is the effect of it on a token and how it actually works. We also take a look at smart contracts and transactions to understand how it looks like in the backstage. So if this kind of thing interests for you and you want to learn about DeFi and learn what minting is, watch this video till the end. But before we start, subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification button so anytime I post these cool videos, you can watch them as soon as possible. And of course, if you like this video, smash the like button so the YouTube algorithm can show it to many more people that can learn like you are learning right now about minting. So what does mint mean the word mint is actually creating money printing money printing tokens printing coins out of nowhere creating money all right so you basically print money create tokens create money and add it to the circulating supply so people can sell it later you print and you give it to people you give it to banks you give it to users it doesn't matter what you do with it but this kind of people actually can sell it later and actually you increase the supply of the asset it doesn't matter if it's fiat money if it's crypto token or it's a token ERC token or BEP20 tokens you basically make new tokens and you add them to the supply and you create inflation power because later on people will sell this token for other assets this asset will be sold the dollars will be used to buy other things so if dollar is being printed then you can see other assets are going up real estate company stocks okay if a token is being minted you can see that the token price is going down because people are selling the tokens for us dollars or for other tokens so this is what minting in general means now the first and basic minting will be the, the before we go to DeFi and bep 20 and cake minting we'll see what cake minting how it looks like in the contracts itself on binance merchant but before we need to understand the fundamentals and the fundamentals are the first not the first minting but one of the most common minting is the us dollar i don't know if you know but this is for another video that i will have there is the federal reserve who actually decides every year how much money to print how much money to print and to add to the supply the circulation supply of the dollar and here you can see charts and this organization this company actually decide and then they print this kind of dollars and you can see actually here the most important part here is the difference between 2020 to 2021 you see that the bills of the hundred dollars has been tripled so you can see here uh, this kind of blue part of the chart has been tripled from 2020 to 2021 and also the bills of the $50 has been doubled and the bills of the $20 also been doubled so you can see how much um, the Federal Reserve is printing this is the print orders historical Federal uh, Reserve print orders how much they print more dollars than 2020 so this is minting US dollars and you can see that actually the US dollars buying power is going down because printing more tokens creating more inflation now another basic main thing is bitcoin i don't know if you know but every block in bitcoin there is some kind of bitcoin that is being created out of nowhere being minted and right now every block every bitcoin it's every 10 minutes there is a new block a new block is being added to the blockchain and 6.25 bitcoins are being created out of air being minted now you ask where these bitcoins are going to and the answer is to the miner who verified and found the right block the right hash the right nonce this is the miner who is going to win this kind of 6.25 bitcoins plus the trading fees plus the bitcoin fees that the users sent in the transactions every 2010 blocks i think there is some kind of event that called halving this is hard coded in the bitcoin protocol in the bitcoin consensus and halving means that the block reward is being divided halved divided by twice and this is so which means that the next halving gonna be in 960 days around three years it's every halving happens around 
four years and the last halving was on I think May 2020 so the next halving the block reward will go from 6.25 and 3.125 so Bitcoin is always reducing the production of B new BTC tokens and actually many people are losing Bitcoin wallets so a lot of the Bitcoins are being burned because people cannot use them because they lose their hard disk or they lose their private key or something happened to the private key so Bitcoin is getting out of supply that's why Bitcoin is deflationary you can see this is the Bitcoin price right now there is 18.850 million tokens Bitcoin tokens on on the on the market on the supply and the maximum amount will be 21 million this is hard coded in the algorithm of the Bitcoin here you can see that how every halving actually every event you can see the price is going down because now less Bitcoin is being produced and Bitcoin became more deflationary so this is one halving four years four years every halving then you can see Bitcoin is rising up this is another chart that shows about create about the inflation so this is the blue line represents the bitcoins that are being minted uh, the bitcoins in supply and the the orange line represents the monetary inflation so you can see that inflation is going down and less bitcoin is being added you can see that this kind of chart of the bitcoin being added is actually uh, the 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 edge is getting smaller and smaller and the inflation is already going down so this is why Bitcoin is always going up in the price. But I will have another video about Bitcoin related to dollar in terms of assets and what I think about it. This is for another video. Now, this is minting because Bitcoin is being created also in Ethereum. Every block Ethereum is being created out of nowhere and is going to the miners. But the most important part of this video, we're going to talk about minting tokens. ERC20 tokens and BEP20 tokens. These are the tokens on the Ethereum blockchain and and actually uh, Binance Smart Chain and we will take an example as the cake token so this is the cake token this is the smart contract so every BEP20 tokens or ERC20 tokens it's the exact same thing exact same code has a smart contract that's called BEP20 token BEP20 smart contract and or ERC20 smart contract so this is Binance BSC scan.com and you can take a look this is the smart contract of the cake tokens you can go to the contract view and actually you can see this is the contract name cake token this is the commit and you know what we will take this kind of uh, code and we'll copy the smart contract code to our vs code right here and we'll change it of course to solidity and now we have a nice solidity code and but we will go only to we're going to remove everything until we find the cake smart contract don't freak out don't worry i will simplify it for you it will be very very easy to understand how minting works in DeFi and crypto so you can see that this is the cake token this is the contract of the cake token and you can see it inherited from bep20 token so it uses basically another smart contract and this is the mint function you can see that every time someone is calling this function actually cakes are being created out of nowhere okay so this is where the cake where to mint the cake and this is the amount all right so now you might ask what everyone can call this function and call the smart contract send function to the mint function and create cakes out of nowhere no this is a mistake because you can see here this kind of only owner only owner this is modificate modificator that actually say that only the owner that deployed or not deployed has ownership on the smart contract can call this function and can mint cake so this is how cakes are being minted basically every time new cake is being minted is because someone is calling some wallet or some smart contracts the owner only the owner can call this function someone is calling this function and you can see that actually this is actually minting the tokens and let's now in order to understand who can call this function and who can cake can mint the cake token itself we need to look at the owner of the smart contract because only the owner can mint the tokens and in order to understand who is the owner we'll go here to read contract and we will scroll down a little bit until we'll find here the function get owner and this address is the owner of the cake token smart contract so we'll just open it in a new tab 
and you guessed right, if you guessed it right, the owner, the address who own the cake token smart contract and can mint cake tokens is other smart contract is the main staking contract. This is the contract that is responsible for staking. This is the contract that every time that you stake tokens, doesn't matter if it's in the syrup pools or in the farms, this is the to contract that actually holds your token. And you can see this contract have 186.9 million cake tokens. And he has also a lot of liquidity pool tokens here, which are all the liquidity pool tokens that you stake here in the farms. They are all being stored in this kind of smart contract. And this is the contract that gives you the rewards. So every time you uh, unstake your tokens or maybe you click the harvest button, this contract is minting cake tokens, creating cake tokens out of air and sending them to your wallet. So I know this is a bit technical, but it's super interesting. So I had to share this with you. And by watching this, I, I will simplify it the most, the easiest way that you can understand and get more educated. Now let's take a look at a contract where again, jumping into the contract stack section and going to the code and I'm going to copy everything and uh, put it in my editor. And now I copied all the smart contract to my editor. So it will be easier to read and we'll change it from JavaScript to solidity because this is reading in solidity. We're gonna remove all the uh, imports and all the contracts that it used because we are only interested in the master chef smart contract, which is the smart contract that is responsible for staking when it's stake here on the farms, when it's stake in the seal pools. And this is the smart contracts that contains all the functions for staking. And this is the smart contract that actually calling the mean function on the cake token smart contract. And now we will search for mint. All right, so here you can see, this is super cool. You can see that there is function that called update pool and this function is calling the mint function on the cake token smart contract. And who it actually means is it means to the address that stake the token. So it's calculates what is, this function is basically updating a liquidity pool, a, a pool in the in the staking zero pool or a farm pool, and it calculates there is some kind of a equation here, some kind of algorithm that calculates how much reward this user who staked the tokens actually is can get, and this is the cake reward after right here in the calculation you can see now basically this smart contract calling function on the cake token smart contract in order to mint tokens you can see that the first minting is basically taking the cake reward for every single pool actually the smart contract is taking the cake reward that is being given to the users dividing it by 10 and sending it to dev address which is interesting and then the second call of the mint function is uh, sending the actual reward to the uh, syrup pool to the address of the, the the one who stake the tokens let's search for more mint and we can see here this is another uh, calling for minting sending to minting basically cake tokens to the the amount of this is the amount that actually is you can get so you can see that one contract, the main second contract is calling other mint uh, generic function on cake token, which is BEP20 smart contract. I hope this is not super confusing and I hope that this is understandable. I will also make on the video some kind of error so you can see it easily. So again, summarizing, master chef smart contract, main second contract, contract calling mint function on the cake token smart contract, which is this kind of smart contract. This is the function. So this contract, main master chef contract call the mint contract to mint the tokens. And this is generic function of BEP20 tokens, which is the exact same thing as ERC20 tokens. So it's the same in Ethereum. This is how it works. This is how you mint tokens. In cake, the minter is the staking contract because he's the one who is responsible to create cakes and send them to people. So this is the minting. You can also, let's search again, mint, and you can search who is basically calling the update pool function. And you can see that actually when you deposit funds, this function is being called. When you withdraw funds, it's been called. When you enter staking, when you leave staking, and yeah, when a new pool is being added, 
So every time basically you add or remove tokens from the PancakeSwap platform, this update pool is being called and then that's how your cake is being uh, sent to you. So this is minting. Now we saw that actually every time the, the developer address is getting uh, the reward divided by 10 for every single pool that exists in PancakeSwap. We want to understand who is the dev address in order to see how the minting is being created and how it looks in the blockchain. So we'll go back to the smart contract, to the main second contract, and we'll go to the contract uh, tab and to read contract and we'll search for dev address. And we scroll down a bit and this is the actual dev address that getting cake rewards out of nowhere, no, not staking, but just getting the cake tokens. So you can see that right now this, this wallet has 2.6 million dollars, which is 133,248 uh, cake tokens. And if you go here to BEP20 token trans transfers, you can see that actually every three seconds you get so much cake tokens, right? Because this is exactly because every time a pool is being updated, someone is withdrawing or, or staking tokens, he, this, this line is being running and calling the min function here and new tokens, you can see that the form address is 0000, every time you see, unlike burn, when you see 2000, it means that tokens are being burned, but when you see form 0000, it means that someone is minting tokens. So you can see that every three seconds, cake tokens are being sent to this address and this is address that is controlled by PancakeSwap team. It's a good question why, maybe they want to control the cake supply. Actually, all these tokens are being burned every weekly burn. So they are being added to the burn. So it's not that, like they are doing something with them and they are selling them and, and, and reducing the cake price. But, but it's interesting why they, 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 they control this kind of power. They want to control the cake power, cake token power. And they hold basically in the smart contract itself, it mints cake tokens for their address that is being controlled by them. It's actually a smart contract because it's Gnosis multi-seg proxy because it would not be safe. It would be if just one private key that's responsible for this wallet. But this is super, super interesting. See this wallet is, and this is super easy example to understand what is minting because you can see that this wallet is all about minting because it's the dev wallet and it gets cake tokens all the time from the smart contract. You can see every time we see 0000, it means that it's minting tokens. So this is in general the tutorial about minting, what it means in general minting and what it means in DeFi, in Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum. I hope this guide was helpful for you. Let me know if you have any questions, you don't understand something and what you think about this tutorial. Give me your insights. I will be more than happy to hear them. And if you like my content, again, consider smashing the like button, subscribing to the channel and the best part, tell your friends about this channel. Tell your friends about the cool video that you watched today and you learned about minting and maybe they can watch it and learn as well. So this is our goal to get more people educated by DFL and help me to spread my word, spread this goal and get more people educated financially and technologically. Thank you so much once again for watching my videos and learning with me and I will see you in the next guide. Bye bye.